I'm Virginia Ferner. I'm a senior HIV physician at the Albion Centre in Surrey Hills in Sydney. The Albion Centre uh, is one of Australia's largest publicly funded services providing care for patients with HIV um, at all stages of their illness as well as sexual health services and hepatitis C services. There are five key support services in the HSP and number three relates to the um, provision of counselling about the prevention of transmission of HIV infection to others and also about the role of antiretroviral therapy in prevention of transmission. The purpose of um, this key support service is to assist diagnosing doctors uh, in um, performing their responsibility under the New South Wales Public Health, Health Act 2010. Namely, it relates to advising patients of their HIV diagnosis and prognosis, um, looking at treatment options, discussing transmission risks and prevention of transmission, um, which would include safe sex practices and safe injecting um, practices, and also to discuss the patient's responsibility under the Public Health Act uh, in disclosing their status um, to all future sexual partners. Um, the key support service will also focus on encouraging patients to have uh, adherence to antiretroviral therapy when that is commenced. Uh, there is increasing evidence that the use of antiretroviral therapy is a strategy to prevent transmission. Antiretroviral therapy is important for the patient with HIV for their long-term um, survival health outcomes. However, it's also recognised that providing antiretroviral therapy does prevent transmission to uh, uninfected partners. The evidence um, that has, is accumulating in this regard relates to the use of antiretroviral therapy, particularly for discordant couples, um, including heterosexual couples and uh, men who have sex with men. So, as, so using treatment as a prevention uh, is a worthwhile strategy. Um, when uh, looking at treating the newly diagnosed person with HIV. So this is an important area that the uh, diagnosing GP should be discussing with their patient. So the GP has an important role in counselling the newly diagnosed person as to the benefits of treatment for both themselves and to prevent transmission to other people. It's understandable that there are many challenges um, in providing information, counselling and support for a newly diagnosed patient. So there are many referral services that are appropriate um, that GPs can access and that would include the local sexual health services or HIV specialist services. It also includes um, accessing information uh, via the Ministry of Health website uh, together with um, the website that um, uh, relates to provision of health, um, of information to health professionals, um, the Australasian Society for HIV Medicine or ASHAM. Uh, and this website is also available for a lot of information relating to HIV transmission and prevention. In addition, a range of specialist community peer support uh, services are available. Uh, to support the patient at this time. Such services are the AIDS Council of New South Wales, or ACON, uh, Positive Life, uh, Newer for injecting drug use, uh, and also PulseHeps. And these organisations have websites uh, and can be contacted directly for additional support and information.